generic greetings and welcome back once again to Mr. Prepper where in the previous episode we started the series and managed to build a very small bunker underneath the house. It is two rooms. We have our crafting room for the lack of a better term and atrium followed by the place underneath which is where we're growing stuff. In this episode we want to read the mail. Make sure all this is watered and then go into the forest. So let's have a quick look here. We have three things. Let's take all and we'll have a look at each one. We have um, here on the left hand side a Minuteman letter. A letter from the stranger who calls himself the Minuteman. So we will read that letter. So it says, Dear Mr. Prepper, you don't know me, but your ambitions have caught my eye. You are an interesting person, Mr. Prepper, and... There are not many interesting people in the town these days. I know what your little road trip... I know your little road trip didn't go well. Too bad. But if I may suggest something, go big and don't stick to land routes only. I'm attaching something so you may find useful. It's tired and tested... I'll try and tested design, should I say. It might seem crazy at first glance, but Prepper, I know you can do it. And don't be afraid your secrets are safe with me. And expect more from mail from me soon. Yours truly... The Minuteman, or Minuteman. Uh, interesting, I don't know who this guy is, but he does seem to be helpful. Perhaps he has more interesting items to share with me. Maybe he's willing to trade. Let's read this next one. It's the Inspection Protocol. Citizen Inspection Protocol. Standard house equipment. The rating is up to your judgement, but you should pay attention to the lack of certain items or excess thereof relative to the standard. Right, okay. So, as you can see there, um, this next visit is conducted one to seven days intervals. It says, yeah... Ceiling lamp, four of, uh, two tables, six at right. Okay, so it's telling us what we should have. All right, I'm pretty confident. I'll probably end up forgetting about that. And this is a rocket photo. The rocket. Ah, funny. This surprisingly makes sense. I have a feeling I could actually pull this off. I need some planning, though. Right, fair enough. I'm going to go over to uh, cooking here. Actually, no, I'm going to open this because I do need to eat, and I will eat... I'll eat that soup there. There we are. Use the rocket image for inspiration for your ultimate escape plan. So I'll go to read. And our inspiration will be... The rocket. Wow. We're making a rocket? I mean, I've seen it in the pictures, but it sounds ludicrous, doesn't it? And there you go. Ultimate rocket. <laughs> ultimate rocket plan phase one. 50 stone, 20 metal, 10 glass. Wow. Okay. So that's what we need. I'll tell you what, let's go into the forest. Um, I will, once again, probably put the letters away. I'm going to put the letters in there and keep them out of the way. The lights, I don't particularly want to keep on me, but I am also concerned that, well, basically, if we if we, if I try to place them, it's going to break the, uh, the power. I'll probably, oh, you can see that we're on pretty much max power by the look of it. Anyway, uh, it's water water. Hang on. I thought I grabbed water. Hmm. Come on. Over here. And receive. Done. Five waters gained. I will... Ah, oh, five. That's a problem. I've got eight plants. I'm going to have to do this twice. It matters not. Double click to run and then water and work our way along. I would like to put some different plants in. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change the colour of the lights. Yeah! Yeah, I like that. I don't like that you can, you have to you have to cycle them. So I guess I can do that and do that. I don't know if that's the, that would be the right colour. No, I'm going to change that colour. I want like a purplish colour. Oh. The water's empty? Not ready. Oh, wow, okay. So you only get a certain allotted water. Wow, this is um, quite dystopian, isn't it? <laughs> Change colour. Is there a purple? No, there's not a purple. Uh, I guess blue. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Ultraviolet. That's what I was ho hopefully going to get, but not, alas. Right, I'm going to... Take a take a little nap, I think. Actually, no. You know what? No, I'm going to try. Open that and eat. Yeah, right. And that gives us more energy. Okay, let's go. We'll use that, and we're going to try and do this herbalist thing in the forest. We'll gather wood. 
Today's beverage is... I was going to say chocolate milk. That would be a lie. It is um, a banana-flavoured milkshake. I'm going to grab these berries because I have a feeling that they will be of some use. We can also go into the woods to see if there's a big surprise. And we've got this... <laughs> what's this? Trapped area. Oh, so what's this? This is... A ropeway pillar used for traveling between the forest areas needs to be repaired first. What do we need? A lever. We don't have either. Hmm, this lever must be somewhere in the forest. And then we've got that achievement. And what's this? Trapped areas. Ah. Oh, turkeys and deer by the look of it. When it said trapped areas, I honestly thought mines. Uh, not for not, not for hunting, you understand. Um... I thought like, oh, if it's trapped, we, we'll we'll trigger the trap ourselves, but not it means we can trap animals. I guess you could also go hunting with mines. That wouldn't be overly efficient, unless you really wanted mincemeat. And obviously, a, a good collection quest. Anyway, while dragging a group of items, click uh, MB to... It's gone again. Grab... Okay. I'm just going to grab pretty much all the things I can find. Um, all of the wood and stuff. I can also hear... I'm sure I could also hear like a Morse code. Yeah, I can hear Morse code in the background there. And there's a deer. He's now running off. <laughs> Let's grab that. Too heavy. Oh, am I... Oh yeah, I'm almost full. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and find this herbalist. So we're going to go down the path. Level 1-3. I wonder if I can eat. You can just straight up eat berries, yeah. Doesn't do much. A sign. What does that sign do? I don't know what that sign does. But I'm going to go to the right-hand side first to see what I can find. Oh, there's a lever! Grab. And... Some... Someone's in that... There. Ah! That's... Oh, fudge. I wasn't hiding. I was just picking some berries. <laughs> Bob, are you okay? Are we called Bob Prepper? And there's... Hello, Buttercup. I knew you would come. Little old lady. Hmm. You seem to like a strong... Oh, you seem like a strong and capable young lad. It's been a while since anybody called me young. And you are? My name is Jenny. I'm the one that sent you the letter. These are the herbalists. Sorry for the secrecy, but one cannot be too cautious these days. You usually meet me here around this time. I'm a herbalist. Your contact regarding all plants... Ma plant matters, you could say. People call me Mr. Prepper. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Jenny. Let me go at the point. I could use your help. I have this cosy cabin in the woods, but I can't get there now. Really vicious wolf hanging around constantly. I've tried everything. Didn't fall for my package of poisonous herbs inside the delicious sausage. Can you get rid of it for me? Hmm, wolf in a cabin in the woods. <laughs> Is a red hood and a basket required for this mission? Uh, you look lovely in bright red. Hang on, you, you'd you look. I was going to say, not, not you, like, oh, has she seen us before? But I'm not for fashion police. Just help me so I won't have to explain big ears and teeth to anybody. Okay. And in return, you can take anything you want from the materials left in the cabin. I need to resupply soon anywhere and trade with each other. Okay, I'll deal with the wolf. Uh, get our cabin back. Good. Right. So I'll grab that and... We need to do something about the cabin. I'm going to assume then that that's what the... That's what this is. Let's use that and see what it says. Yeah, we can just go back. Right. Well, I'm not going to go there without any sort of weapon or tool. Because, quite frankly, um, wolves bite. I'm on use at 11. <laughs> Uh, it's like a big surprise. Right, let's go over to disassembly and we will start to disassemble some logs because these huge logs are heavy. And there we go. Crafting a baseball bat. Oh, yes. Good. And also, let's read this. 
What do I need? Ten glass oh, and metal and stone. Right. Um, can I just place stuff on the ground? What I really want is a wooden box. Yeah, or a wardrobe. No, a wooden box. Craft a wooden box. I bet you can't place it down here. That's going to be really annoying. Oh, water's uh, also filled back up. It looks like it slowly fills up the water. And... Yeah. Oh, I can place it there. That's good. So, open. And I can store the lights. Right. Let me go upstairs. Uh, oh, no, we can't. <laughs> we can't get past. Okay, fine. So, I'm going to have to get that. And then grab that. I need to extend, don't I? It's a shame I can't place it elsewhere. I wonder if I can grab that and shift it. Mm. I think I know what we might be able to do. Grab that. Grab that. That's going to go in the far corner, like so. Okay, that's out of the way. Ladder can go there. It can go underneath. That can go in here. And then that can go at the back there. Open. Yeah, grab that. And then place that there. Okay, plus 10 generic elation points. I don't know why I'm so happy. <laughs> it's an unreasonable amount of... Uh, What's mean not ready? Not ready? Oh, it has to get to there? Really? Well, I'm going to keep keep trying this until it allows me to d grab it. Any second now. Any second. Oh, come on. Not ready. Hey! Down. So, water. Yeah, that's much better there. Straight down. Um. Oh, can we harvest those? Inspect. Let's see what it says. Plant carrot. Status ready for harvest. Harvest? And what do we get? I think we got some seeds off that. Yeah, I will plant. Oh, there's also a quick plant. If I just do quick plant, does it just plop that down? Oh, it does. Good. Right, so those have been planted. It means we can also now cook. But I'm going to wait until the morning. We'll have a little We'll have a little sleep. Because it's near... It's quarter to, quarter to 12. We want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tomorrow. All right, so, day five. Craft faster while your stamina and health is over 50%. Yes, we are aware. I also don't like the fact that there's, on the background there, there's like unexploded bombs and such. Yeah. So, cook. Oh, no, we need, we need water first. <laughs> I don't have any water, because I've used it all. <laughs> okay, um, I could just eat... What's that there? What's that there? Rotten food. Oh. Oh, okay. So, keeping it chilled is the way forward. Eat. Eat. I'm just going to eat all. There we go. Right, so that's me messed right up. I think that was cabbages. Brilliant. Uh, where shall I put rotten food? Well, everybody stores it neither. <laughs> what can we do with it? Save quantity 0 to 20. I assume you can do something with it. I don't know if that is the case. And putting it in that cupboard there is really bad. Um, I'm just checking about the barrels and the safe quantities. Safe quantity is 0 to 12. What's in the crate? Should we have a quick look? Gasoline, nothing. Oh, there's nothing in either of those. What about this crate? Nothing. Well, you know what? Grab. I'm just going to disassemble it. <laughs> There's no reason not to disassemble it. Easy to disassemble. It does say the safe... It does say the safe limit. 
the safe limit was um, zero to one. So there we go. Let's have a quick look. Baseball bat, equip, and we now should get now a gear, a baseball bat. We can also have looks like different things on our head and backpacks and I'll say skills as well. Anyway, let's go ahead, go upstairs. Just walking around with a baseball bat. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go and help Jenny out. Jenny the Herbalist. And there's no real way to put this. Um, hit a wolf multiple times until it's no longer functional. Otherwise known as break to death. Over to here. We will repair with one lever. Repair. Takes a little while to repair a ropeway. <laughs> and there we go. So we can go to level 2. Kill the wolf that blocks the way to Jenny's cabin on forest level 2. And there we go. Alright. So, once again, just grabbing some of these. I'll grab everything that I can. Um, I'm pretty confident that... Oh, what's that there? Read. What's this say? Hunter's Club. Everything what the wildness around Merca Villa has to offer. Fresh game from different animals, free range and ethically shot to death. And if you want to do the hunting yourself, I offer a wide choice of traps and baits. Lavinia, your local huntress. Hmm, a local hunter? Interesting. I need to check out her stuff. Oh, there. She's over there, the huntress. Right, well, we might, we might check that out. Okay. That says into the woods. It says level one. So maybe... Maybe this way? Oh, what's that say? Keep out. Do not cross. Hmm. Grab the blueberries. Grab the blueberries. Uh... Eat all the blueberries. I'm guessing that's where we have to go. Perhaps wrongly. I'll grab the wood and grab this stuff while we're on. Oh, I can also get rid of the bat by pressing Q. Yeah, and that, yeah. That basically uh, allows you to equip and de-equip it. Unequip it. That's what I meant. Okay, into the danger zone. We are breaking barriers. Literally, we just broke through the barrier. Forest level two of three. Oh. What's this? This looks different. What's that? That's like a dropped... <gasps> Exotic bait, field rations, plastic. Take all. Right. Is this where the wolf is? Oh, yeah, that's a wolf. Doesn't look that tough. Your first, your first fight is about to start. Click on the wolf to attack it. Hold left control to block the wolf's attacks. Left control? Okay. I'll move away to dodge them. Use your bait in a fight. Good luck. Right. Yeah, we are. Stun locking. We've stun locked the wolf. Okay, that's, that's three wolves. Right. Run away, run away. Ooh, okay. Um, no, 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 no. I'm messing this one right up. Ah, right. What I'm doing is, like, stunning them like that. And... Right, there's... There's four wolves gone, and now... Ah, oh, big wolves. Big wolves are coming in now. Big wolves. So, yeah. What I'm doing is just hitting it and running away. I'm going to assume, perhaps wrongly, that... If I get the big wolf... Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. I think I'm going to die. No... I get the big wolf I thought was going to end, but it's not. But looks like that has to be it. Surely that's boss wolf. Yes. And I've managed to take out all the wolves. And there's the cabin. Oh. And looks to be a lever there. I'm going to grab that. And take all that I can. That's like soil and stuff. And there it is. There's the cabin. Let's go inside the cabin. We'll have a look. Trade increases your preparedness. Good. And this is the cabin. There's like 
all manner of stuff here. She did say we were allowed to take stuff. I'm not just... I'm not just doing this because I can. I'm not stealing from a little old lady. A hunter trophy, perhaps there is more to the herbalist than meets the eye. And what's the deal with these antlers? Hmm. An equal right. Huh. That's nice. What else have we got? TV. There's nothing worthwhile on the TV since the plague. Hitting home a bit too hard there. It's about success for governments, outdated educational programs in all westerns. Grab that. Let's inspect that. Growing box. Somehow I have a feeling these are not only decorative plants. There's a plant there. Table and stuff. And I like the pumpkins and stuff they've got. Oh, there's also these up here. Because we're going to be planting loads of stuff. What's that there? Another one. So, w visit Jenny at her cabin. That's what it says. Well, we basically nicked everything. I think there was a ball there I could have got. Let me go. Oh, there's Jenny. Let me just go back and see if I can get the fruit ball. Inspect the fruit ball. No. I mean, expect that. Right, fine. Back out we go. So, let's have a nap with Jenny. Talk. Oh, hello. Me and Bob, thank you for defeating the big bad wolf. Should be. Hope you didn't get hurt. Uh, yeah, we got bitten a bit. Ah, uh, please don't call me, whatever. You're welcome, and no, I'm fine. Jenny is unlocked. So we can now go to Jenny's, or at least trade. This is good. Now that I've my little sweet home and workshop back, I'd like to get back to my cooking experiments. Many of my friends in the town suffer from certain sleep issues. Nice old ladies I am, I want to help. I'm trying out various ingredients to put in a herbal tea. I've heard about curious kinds of mushrooms that grow in the old mine. Could you bring me some of those? Curious mushrooms for the old mine. Okay, why not? Lovely, just be careful, young lad. The mine is a dangerous place, but there's also a chance you'll meet a friendly soul there. And there's the mine. Old Creek Mine Unlocked. Cool. So bring Jenny eight mushrooms from the mine. I wonder what tea she's trying to make. To make you sleep. Wouldn't be ability or reality. Hmm. But we are going to use that. And we're going to go back, ironically. Oh, I was going to go to the forest. Yeah, I want to go back to the forest because I've got that lever. And I want to use that inspect oh that's no no that's that's curious I thought we'd be able to repair that a bit more but apparently not okay I wonder if it's just a spare level that we've got or maybe we'll have to use it for other things right back home back home we go so I'm gonna put my baseball bat away because I should have done that a while ago I will receive more water It's not ready, apparently. Let's go to cook. Because I do want some water for cooking. Actually, I'll open this. And I'll put the steak in there. I'll put the blueberries in there. We've got bait and exotic bait. I'll put that back later. And wolf skin. Okay. Too heavy. Oh, right. Too heavy this time. Let's go back. And I'll disassemble a lot of the wood. So craft. Disassemble. And continue doing that with the wood. And we've got sunflowers. What have we got? Sunflower seeds, corn seeds, beet seeds, cabbage seeds, orange seeds, and carrot. I'm going to assume that I can't grow oranges and sunflowers underground. <laughs> um, in order to make this workbench level 2, we need stone and metal. So... I may... Luna tuna. <laughs> food is food, even if it smells fishy. Fair enough. Ground wood. And there's glass and textiles. Let's see if I can grab some food. Let's receive some food. Which I've now done. And cook. I want to get... Vegetable soup, be cabbage, beets, and carrots. Well, I've got carrots. I'll take the carrots. And I'll take that as well. That's a field ration. I'll keep all the field ration. 
let's just cook some carrots. I'm going to cook one unit of carrot. It said I was going to be over capacity, but I'm going to assume that when I'm cooking, it's actually... Uh... Oh, no, the water isn't going down. Hmm. Anyway, let's go down. It says I could use a short nap. In fact, it's right. We should probably have a short nap. Oh, well, I'm down here now. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might have a short nap. Like that. And literally give it, you know, an hour or so. And then wake back up and... There we go. And then crack, crack on down here. So down the bunker. I've double-clicked, so it's all about the speed. Slide down. And harvest. Harvest. We'll harvest a lot. Oh. We're too heavy. Oh, okay. So let's start planting then. Um, no. Greenhouse needed. So I'm going to put that down there. Let's have a quick look. Need to plant a pot. Can't plant that. Well, I know I can plant carrots. And let's water that. And plant corn, beets. I know we can do beets. Water. Plant. Beets. Don't think I've got any water left. No. Then we'll plant corn. No, need a planter. So those two need planters, and that one needs something else. Let's just plant those. We've got a quick plant. There we go. Right. I think time for a sleep. Um, actually, no. No, 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 no. Put our food back in here. I'll have to eat one of those. The standard procedure should be to put food back in the fridge when we're not... Um, Well, we're not eating it. Let's, let's eat all. Job done. Right. So we'll have a sleep. And I think we're going to do some trading. I do want to make a level 2 workbench. I don't know why I need or maybe want... Hang on. <laughs> That's curious. There's, <laughs> there's someone standing... The the, the posty was standing <laughs> at the mailbox um, all night. <laughs> Oh, there's... Right, we've got mail. We'll check that. <laughs> oh, what's that? That's the paper. The paper just dropped from the sky. Is it dropped by airship? What have we got? A Minuteman letter again. Let's read that. Mr. Prepper, I hope my letter finds you well and you feel inspired by my last gift. I would like to start a small exchange between us if you agree from time to time. I will send you a letter or a package with some useful information or an item and I have access to some rather curious supplies and resources, trust me. However, there are some things that are hard to obtain for me and this is where I believe you, Mr. Prepper, would help me. You can deliver things like you would trade them on the local marketplace. I'm sure you would figure this out. As an icebreaker, we'd just love to have a jar of blueberry jam. And there's the Minutemen place. Okay, so they're wanting blueberry jam. Fine. Uh, let's check this. So the newspaper, inspect. Only trusted and most relevant information. Don't miss out next week's truth. Let's grab it. Um, can we do anything with it? Read. Okay, our truth. Your weekly dose of truthful information. I, oh, it's, it's all over the place. New pathogen ravages Mexico. Subversive and offensive materials... Yeah, that's, that's all. That's his damn dam. So there's... Uh, yeah, that's a dam. Good. It's free of charge. Cool. Doesn't mean it's of any use. And how can I get rid of that? Thank you. Uh, let's just put it in, in in here with the other letters. I'm hoping when they do a search that they don't find all of these letters. But there we go. I'm also going to place these seeds in... I think it was the top up here. So we'll place all the seeds in there. Like that. Oh, my mistake. Seeds and receive water, which is not ready. Right, so I do want to trade. I, like I say, want to... Well, let's have a read of that. We need 50 stone, 20 metal, 10 glass. But for the workbench, to make a workbench level 2, we need wood, metal and stone. 
15 metal, 15 wood, 5 stone. Stone is the one I can't get. I'm guessing trading is is going to be the way forward here. So we'll have a quick look. Hang on. So we'll trade with Sergey. Are they selling stone? They're not. What about Nancy? Nancy's not doing anything. Oh, but they actually buy waste paper. 10 needed. And books. And what about the supermarket? Oh, you can just buy food. That makes perfect sense. Oh, and they're selling sugar, which I think we need for jam. What about Jenny? Jenny's selling a nice rug. Oh, cool. Uh, what about the Huntress? She's got food and the Minuteman guy. He wants the blueberry jam, which requires 10 blueberries, one sugar, and one glass. So we can craft that if I have the sugar. So I'm going to buy from the supermarket one unit of sugar. So let's trade. It's going to take two hours to get to me. That's fine. I'm going to go back to... Oh, I could go to the mine. Actually, yeah, let's check the mine out. You'll need a mining helmet to see in the dark. Well, brilliant. This is the mine. And there's bats in the mine, apparently. And all manner of things. Oh, and a person. In a tracksuit. No, not in a tracksuit. <laughs> Damn, it's no use again. Wait, who's there? Excuse me, this is a restricted area. Sorry, I'm harmless, but restricted by whom? The agency? I haven't seen their signs. Uh, no, not the agency. It's... Wait, you look different. Are you from the rest of the townspeople? I mean, your eyes seem to be... Your eyes seem present, and you talk sense. Who are you? I'm Mr. Prepper. I know this is a mine I would like to get inside. I'm working for a local herbalist. I'm here to collect certain organisms. Okay, a constructor, huh? I'm Bob, and here's my proposition. Do something that will be useful for both of us, and I'll let you in. An elevator that allows you to go at the lower levels of the mine. Sounds great, right? Except the junk has broken down again. Fix it, and we'll get into the mine. Okay, see if I can fix the elevator. I don't think unlicensed elevator repair is on our CV, but there you go. If our corporation works properly, you'll be friendly. Right, whatever. Right, cool. So is there anything on the other side of the mine? No, doesn't look like. So we're going to go over to the mine lift here, and we will repair that. And if it needs a ten, it needs ten metal. I was going to say if it needs a lever, we are sorted. But uh, well, we don't have ten metal. But I can get ten metal by trading. So I may may do just that. This is America's coolest or coldest mine, apparently. Fine. Um, I'm going to go back to the forest because I need some blueberries specifically. 10 units of blueberries. So grab. Grab. And I'm just going to go and grab all of the blueberries. Go this way. So far, very much enjoying the game. It's pretty much the game that I played in the sort of beta, but with... It doesn't seem to have as many rough edges, and the crafting seems to be quite simple, yet quite decent as well. So far, no real complaints. Would have been story based as well. It's a bit of a surprise because I would have, I would have thought that they would have went no. Let's don't have it story based. Have it more like, like sheltered or something. Because then you know there's multiple, so you can get multiple players. Whereas I guess you could play this multiple times. But once you've done them with the story, then who knows? Would you want to do it again? Don't see why not. I guess. And there's something quite engaging about the story. I don't know why. Where, uh, what the deal is with. Mr. Prepper, why they're so anxious and so paranoid. Maybe they're not paranoid. Maybe they're being sensible. Just grabbing all of these. Might as well grab all the blueberries while we can. And what's this? Oh. More stuff. Uh, we can't take the basic bait, though. Well, I want those plastic stack. There we go, the stack now. Basic bait. Hmm. Anyway, I think we've got enough. I think we've got enough blueberries. Let me have a quick look. We have food. Twenty-five blueberries. Yes, they're fine. Actually, do you know what I might do? I'm going to eat a can of tuna and then take the bait. There we are. Right, let's head back. We are sadly a little bit tired. I'm trying to find the signage. Signage is over here, and we need to send the Minutemen a jar of raspberry jam. So we'll go home. Mr. Prepper's home. You can destroy rooms. Oh, doesn't matter. Let's have a quick look at this. And we will take the jam. 
I'm also going to put the bait somewhere. I'll put the bait in the kitchen. Seems sensible. Um, don't think we need to put it there. Put it up here. So, bait. Where is it? That one. One. Two. And receive water. Too heavy. Yeah, well, I am carrying loads of wood, to be fair. So, I'll craft. And disassemble. Looks like the logs don't stack, which is curious. Safe quantity, zero to one. So, we could have one log just lying around. But we're having it down here, so it won't really matter. You can see we can make to to uh, shelves and stuff, actually. And plates and all sorts of stuff. Now, that's pretty good. Are we in possession of some glass? We are. So, what do I need to cook the jam? I think it was just some water, wasn't it? And I'll need ten metal. So, receive water. Cook. Blueberry jam. Job done. Right. It's once again a typical British summertime weather outside. Let's go to the Minuteman and sell him the jam. Sell. They are now traded and they trust us. I'm going to assume that we will get some... Uh, we'll get something in return later on. I'm just going upstairs here to have a nap. Because you can see we are in need of that. And I'm going to have to... I've never even used the computer, actually, now that I think of it. Ah, oh, the way's blocked. Grab. Ah, can't use it. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll put the chair back. You can see you can place on multiple levels there, which is... interesting. Um... Book quantity is 3 to 8. But we've got loads of books up here. So I'm going to grab these. One, two, grab. And I wonder what happens when you recycle them. Oh, you get wood off them. Oh, well, I'm going to put them back. I don't really don't really need them. Got loads of wood. There we go. They're being put back. But it is metal that I'm requiring. Um, I could buy it. Well, I'm going to go downstairs anyway because this guy's probably going to reply to me shortly anyway. So I want to go to this guy and buy oh take all there's the delivery unreceived mail is piling up in the mailbox of Bob the former teacher he's gone on a vacation or something hmm fair enough so let's have a quick check read of this letter read Dear Mr. Prepper, how are you? I've recently taken an interest in a certain fascinating topic that also become timely. However, due to regulations of our wise government, bless the president, obtaining reliable sources on this topic is challenging. But Mr. Prepper, you might have more luck. Please deliver me a good book about nuclear warfare and its consequences. Something non-fiction, I am sure I can make it up worth the trouble. I'm not sure where to obtain these books, given the agency's pressure. I think a good book business must have gone underground. Okay, yeah, um, are we, are we helping terrorism? Um, right, curious. Okay, trading, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, four. Can I get more? Three, six. Mm, three, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, I'm going to be one off. Um, I am going to sell them some wood, though, because I've got quite a number of it. And what's this plastic? Don't particularly want to sell more. There we go. We're now traded, and trust's gone up. Mm. So metal. I need to. I need to do something with that. I need to get some. I need to get some metal. Can we have a look at... Oh, yeah, the calendar's open. What's that there? Water. don't know what that means. Oh, hang on. The water has been cut off. At na what? Okay. Don't like the idea of the water being cu cut off. I also haven't checked out the bin. I should really check the bin out. Nothing. Um, 
how many of these green boxes have we got? A square blue box. Large square box. I wish that door would close. Blue. 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 How many? Safe. Safe level is 4 to 11. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. So I can grab one of those. And disassemble it if need be. Which I will do. Um, have I got any more water on me? Yeah. Craft. Disassemble blue box. Then we go back. Put these things back in the fridge. Open. Get rid of that. We'll eat one of these. And I'm going to go back and water some of the... Water some of these. Oh! Right. I think because I haven't watered these, I think they have actually died off. Yeah, so seeds have gone. Right. It's a learning experience. I was going to say the fun's in finding out, but it's not particularly fun figuring out that your crops have disappeared. But there you are. Um, yeah, we'll have to buy some more of those. Not the end of the world. That's probably later on in the game. Some graffiti appeared around the town lately. Weird slogans on staying away, clumsy drawings of eyes, etc. Fair enough. Let me go ahead then and... Craft and then disassemble. Well, the way. I don't think... I think we just need a sleep, don't we? Yeah, we'll have a sleep. And then we'll go and repair that... Repair that thing so we can... At least, uh at least maybe find these mushrooms. We could level up the workbench and such, but I think going through the story stuff is probably the way forward. And you never know what we're going to find in a mine. Crafting and cooking increases your preparedness. Good. So next morning, straight downstairs. I need 10 metal, and we also need to find a book about nuclear warfare. We have very strange neighbours. Mind saying that I'm currently in a secret bunker in my house. With two levels where we can basically grow crops. So, I mean, if we're casting aspersions about it's too strange, I mean, we should probably look a bit closer to home. We'll harvest, harvest the carrots and harvest these other things. Um, quick plant. Quick plant. Nothing to plant. So we'll just water that then. There we go. I will probably have some cook. Beet soup. Let's cook one of those. And a carrot soup. And how much is it? <laughs> carrot soup. Love by babies and preppers worldwide. Delicious sour beet. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a beet. Eat. Yes. Mainly because I can stack those. There we go. Right, is there anything I have on my person that I don't really don't want? Mm. I need the metal. I don't really need the plastics. I'm going to put the plastics and the ingredients back. Wooden box. So I'll put uh, put the glass back, plastics, textiles, and the wood. Stack that wood. Right, let's go. Let's uh, fix this elevator. To the mine. Okay, right. Old Creek Mine entrance. Let's get ahead and oh, we're going to have to deal with that bat. Ironically, with a bat. Uh, that bat. Repair. And... That says one hour 30 minutes to do that. No problem. And that means we've repaired a cableway and an elevator. Down. Oh, hang on. We should probably... Up. Up, 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 up. Right, let's talk to Bob first. Hi, Bob. So, that thing is positively ancient, but I got it up and running. Oh, amazing. Now, if you need an excuse me, I have some very urgent things to check on in the mine. Bob's house unlocked. Hang on, what? <laughs> Curious. Does he live in the mine? I don't know, but let's go down. 
Oh my good grief, that is that mine is huge. And there's a bat here. Uh, a bat here. Let's use the bat. And rock. Grab. Ah! There is the stuff we needed. What's that as well? Is that say gold? Sweet! <laughs> How much rock do we have now? We have two rock, which produces five stone. So it is similar in form and function to the wood that you can pick up. Good. Let's do this bat. There we are. And there seems to be multiple levels here. Grab. And there's a box there. Ooh. Well, it would be rude not to raid it, wouldn't it? Open. Open. Fuel? Iron ore? Wow. Uh, the basic unit of energy can be used in a generator. We don't have a generator. But we know that the fuel is here. Until I forget. In ten minutes time. So let's go back. I think we are... Oh, where's these cave mushrooms actually? I'm not seeing any cave mushrooms. But I am finding a mining pass... Over there. Let's... I'll tell you what. Let's go... Let's go and get the mining pass. I'm guessing we can go down there. That's what it means. The mining pass. Right, the bat's squeaking at me. There we go. Can't pick up any more rock. But I know it's here. I'll get the mining pass. And I'm assuming this is where Bob lives. In the mine. Oh, hang on. What is that? Oh, it's a rat. I thought... The way, the way uh, it spawns stuff like that, I thought, okay, a robot rats around here. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't come here. If I came here without the bat. This would be a much harder game. That is a mining pass. If we inspect it. Oh. Thought the game had crashed there. Ah, yeah, you get to a lower level in the mine. Good. I'm just having a little inspection. I can see there's gold over there. You see the gold? There? Yeah. But I think we'll go down one level. Grab that gold. I'm not going to run over there. Let's see what's down. I don't know if we were able to go down. Get back or go up. Right? Need to go further? I don't know. Anyway. I've done what I needed to do. Oh, you can set right and go to level one. Oh wow. Right. So it's similar in function to the um, other thing that we had. What is that? A mining machine? Yeah. Uh, it's it's similar in function to the chair elevator. As iron ore and stone. Take the stone. Take the iron ore, actually. And recharge. Need fuel. Ah, oh, so we can mine with it. Excellent. And that goes back there. Really? Do I really want to go there? Oh, go on. Passage. Where's this go to? Ah, <laughs> oh, hello, Bob. So... Ah, hi, Prepper. Sorry for my leaving so soon last time. I need to check something. Many thanks for preparing the elevator. It makes things easier. And all electrical equipment seems to break easily these days. Like this radio. It doesn't even turn on. Hey, do you want it? I don't have any use out of it anyway. Thanks. We've got a radio. There's also a phone on the wall. Doesn't work either. You can take that if you want. Now, what brings you down here? Let's say for some sightseeing. Oh. Right, while you're at it. I can look around for my jacket. I've lost it somewhere in the mine. It's red and white, a bit dirty, has emotional value, and it's warm. Very important here. Right, sure, I'll be on the lookout. I'll let you know. You should only need the... Are careful from here. There are certain organisms in the mine. Moving, biting ones, scratching, digging your helpless body into... Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, enough, 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 right? So, fine. What's this? Oh, a book about nuclear warfare. Ask Bob. Bob, I'm looking for a book on a specific topic. I wonder if you have something in your library. Oh, it's been a while since I could help anyone out with a request like that. Shoot. I'm looking for an informative book about nuclear warfare and its consequences. Not a novel, rather a non-fiction sort of thing. I'm asking for a friend. Of course you are. Uh, it's a very telling field of inquiry. There's a Fallout Protection book. Very informative. Sounds right in my alley. Thanks, Bob. We've got the book. Excellent. Loads of books there. Little book there. On the Beach, Summer of 1989, number two. It's one of my favourites, despite the title. It's not about summer vacations or merrymaking. Shows the aftermath of nuclear war from the perspective of Australia. And the Australians are surprisingly chill about their imminent doom. Uh, yeah. Okay. And posters. Lots of posters. Hmm. And he's also got... Oh, he's also got the Board of Wonders. Bob's plan. Post-it notes always make the interior look professional. So this guy's prepping like me, I think. But, because of the time of day and whatnot, I think it's best we, we go back. Um, oh no. Use that entrance, please. Yeah. Let's go back the entrance. We'll go back home. We'll deconstruct some of the stuff we've got. I think that would be a decent thing to do. Just rush back. Because we still need mushrooms. So we'll go back. And we'll have a look at maybe upgrading the workbench. Shame about the seeds, though, as I mentioned. But it is what it is. So. Crafting. Mm. No, not crafting. Uh, actually, yeah. Disassemble rock. Takes a while. And you can see our... We're very sleepy, so I'm going to have to have a nap. Food's not too bad. I think we should I think we should have a nap. There's a tractor going past there as well. So we'll have a nap. That's increasing our preparedness. That should do us. And deliver the book oh deliver the book about nuclear warfare as well. Craft. Okay. So let's get rid of this rock. And that's gonna give us stone. Yeah. And and the radio as well. Nobody killed the radio star in this timeline. You get plastic electronics and metal. We've already got one, haven't we? We've already got one radio up there, so I'll just assemble it. Two times gold. It does glitter and can be sold for good prices. Good. Iron ore, can't do anything with. Neither, no, can't do anything with the rest of it. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and give the book to this, to the Minutemen, and then we'll have a sleep. Oh, there's one of our neighbours as well, going around and about. Minutemen, one book. 60 generic units of currency. And what's that? Gourmet. Oh, another person unlocked. Excellent. Right, I'm going to go to sleep, and I think we will leave it there for this episode of Mr. Prepper. We have done a bit more farming, uh, got more stuff in terms of like resources. We are still looking at getting some mushrooms for Jenny in Bob's mine. We have to find Bob's jacket, and obviously just generally progress on. I do want to build a upgrade a workbench, but I think next episode uh, we will check that out. Okay, yeah, we will leave it there. As always, hope you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and doing squats. <laughs> Generic partings.